at Waterfront Park in Trent, New Jersey, speaking with Dex McGuire. Dex, first round draft pick just last year, but you progressed pretty quickly after making your pro debut with Dunedin this year. Uh, you know, what can you tell me about your, your first year as a pro and the success that you've had? Um, you know, it's it's really been just kind of learning the, the ropes of pro ball, you know, uh, getting used to going out every fifth day um, and doing your job. Um, you know, been banged up a little lately, but uh, really looking forward to getting back soon and uh, just keep trying to build off what, uh, what I've been working on all year. Okay. Now, you were drafted last year out of Georgia Tech, and I wanted to ask if, if you thought the transition to pro ball uh, has kind of been easier uh, or as you expected, and if, if you thought that um, maybe the ACC competition maybe prepped you for some pro action. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it definitely did. You know, uh, played against some some really good ball players in in college, and uh, but you know, I think it's more just just the atmosphere um, that we had at Georgia Tech. You know, they they run it uh, very much like a, a pro ball atmosphere. You know, uh, everybody's an individual. They don't they don't try and make everybody into to one certain thing. And uh, you know, other than that, just the guys that come back um, and work out there in the off season and stuff. You know, you can always bounce questions off them. Um, you know, see what they do to get ready for a pro season and. Uh, and just, just kind of, you know, learn your work ethic from, from the guys that have made it. Well, there's something I would like to, to ask you more about then. Um, you know, you're talking about picking guys' brains and picking things up from guys. You know, what names can, can you share that uh, maybe, maybe you know, gave you some things to think about or taught you some things? Well, uh, you know, actually the biggest one probably is, is uh, Mark Tischer always, you know, came back every year um, for a football game, and he'd always come to the locker room and just ask him questions, you know. And, uh, and a lot of the questions, you know, even though he's a hitter and I'm a pitcher, it was more just what can you learn from a guy that does it for 162 games a year, you know, I mean, at the highest level. And, uh, and then you got guys like Matt Wieters, um, who handles a pitching staff as well as anybody in the big leagues, sure. at, you know, a young age. And, and he's a guy, he's always accessible, can always ask some questions. And, uh, you know, there's just a ton of guys, big leaguers, guys that have that time that, that are at the highest point in our profession that, you know, you can always ask them, you can always come to them with any kind of questions and, uh, and just, just trying to help yourself get better, you know. So, obviously, you know, with those guys coming back and, and, and helping you along the way and helping you learn and helping you mature, whether it's, you know, your mental game or your physical game, I want to ask you about, you're a Virginia guy, right? I am. I want to ask you, you know, b before you had the ability to speak to these guys, who were, who were players that you looked up to? Um, well, I was always a big Braves fan growing up, and everybody kind of looks at me funny, but, you know, the Richmond Braves were in, in Richmond then, okay. and, uh, and so that was always my team growing up. Got to watch him on, on TBS every day. And uh, I was a big John Smoltz fan. You know, I think, um, you know, he's obviously a stud. You know, he did great things over the course of his career. But, but it, I really kind of take away from everything that he did with it. He always was there to help his team. You know, he got hurt, got a little older, they moved him to the bullpen. He was the best closer in the game in that time, you know, arguably with Mariano Revere. And so it's just a guy like that, a guy like Maddox, who – didn't always have the best stuff, but always got the job done. Glavin's the same way. You know, watching those three guys, the, arguably the three best top of the rotation guys in the history of baseball, I got a chance to watch those guys every day go out and, and pitch their game. And so it inspired me to go out and, and not try and pitch like anybody else, just try and, and uh, progress my game to the point where where I can try and be one of the best. All right. Now, Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking with Deck McGuire. So, Deck, I want to I want to ask you some more stuff about you specifically, and not not so much about uh, you know other big time guys. Um, just that, you know, you're kind of a new addition here uh, with the New Hampshire club. You guys are headed for the postseason. I know you're dealing with an injury. Uh, just you know, what's your status right now, and are you looking forward to the playoff? Yeah, um, you know, I'm I'm gonna pitch a game in, in Portland um, when we get there. Um, just bouncing back, and then then I'll be ready to go in the playoffs. Um, you know, I'm excited. I mean, it's, it's what we play for. You know, it's, it's a chance to to win a championship and, and win a championship at every level, and, and that helps breed success. You know, what I mean, uh, some of the the biggest things I ever got taught growing up were from coaches teaching us how to win. You know, it's uh, development's great, and everybody wants to develop to get better, but but winning is something that that everybody strives for, and it's going to help us win a World Series. Absolutely. Now, uh, more, more about you. I wanted to ask you what your, what your pitch repertoire is, what do you, what do you, what's the menu, and what do you consider your out pitch? Um, fastball, curveball, slider, changeup, uh, pretty just standard four pitches. Um, I really just try and mix it up. Uh, you know, I, I don't have an overpowering fastball. I don't have one that, that sinks like some of the other guys here. It's just, you know, I just try and keep people off balance. and. Uh, and, and get myself in, in favorable counts. Um, I'd say on any given day, it, it could be any of my pitches or an out pitch. You know, it, it's all going to depend on on what we did working with Travis to set the guy up. And uh, it's kind of kind of one of my strengths. You know, is that uh, I'm not going to blow it by anybody. I'm not going to trick anybody. I don't have you know 
the best off speed in the world. It's just I just try and mix it up as much as I can and, and just keep guys off balance. All right, and that's been beneficial for you. Uh, yeah, it's worked <laughs> pretty well so far. I mean, I've got a chance to work with, with two great catchers in this organization with AJ Jimenez in, in high A and Travis here, and, and both of them really helped me, uh, you know, work on, on setting guys up and, and just kind of learn how to do that stuff. Great. Um, a couple things more for you, and thank you very much for taking your time. I wanted to ask you about, uh, just uh, talk to you about, uh, you know, if you've spoken with any of your teammates that have been up to the next level and, and what you've heard about, uh, you know, uh, reputation for, for Las Vegas is that it's a difficult place to pitch. What have you heard, and is that a, is that a spot you're looking forward to pitching at? Um, you know, I just heard it's a spot where it, it kind of weeds the men from the boys. You know, it's, uh, it is a tough place to pitch. Um, but it's the same game, you know, that we've played since we were little little kids. You know, it's uh, nothing should change. And, and if if I am fortunate enough to get there, it's just uh, I'm just going to go out and have to keep the ball down. <laughs> and then um, last thing before I let you go, uh, you know, I've, I've coached Babe Ruth League age kids, age 13 to 15. And uh, if you had the opportunity to speak to kids that age that were hoping to play baseball beyond high school, whether it's college or professionally, what advice would you give to b ball players that age? Throw strikes. Uh, you know, I can't say much for hitters, but as a pitcher, most important pitch in baseball is, is strike one. I mean, that's all there is to it. Uh, when you get ahead, you have an opportunity to, whether you have off-speed pitches or not, you have an opportunity to do some stuff when you're ahead. Um, and, and other than that, it, it's just, you know, I know it's cliche, but just work hard. You know, I mean, uh, those guys that, that make it to the, the mecca of the baseball, you know, pyramid, it's, it's because of the hard work. Uh, you know, the, the guys that are the most talented and don't work hard don't always get there. You know, there's guys in the big leagues that don't have the most talent, David Eckstein or, you know, Jamie Moore. Those guys aren't, aren't guys that are just God-given abilities. David Eckstein played here. And, it's, you know what, and he made it to the biggest because he worked harder than anybody else. And so, you know, talent's fantastic. It's awesome if you got it, but it doesn't do anything if you don't work hard. Absolutely, man. Great stuff. Thank you so much yeah, for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay.